So, Apple's A18 Pro chipset powering the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max offers excellent CPU performance along with moderate GPU and NPU improvements. But how does it compare to Qualcomm's upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4? To explore the differences in performance and efficiency, let's take a closer look. The A18 Pro is built on TSMC's 3 nanometer N3E process node, and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is expected to be constructed on the same. Apple uses a 6-core design featuring two performance cores at 4.04 GHz and four efficiency cores. Qualcomm, however, is expected to take a different route with an 8-core setup in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, utilizing Nuvia's Orion CPU cores. Two of these Orion cores reach up to 4.32 GHz, while six are clocked at 3.53 GHz, with no efficiency cores, a design similar to Qualcomm's Snapdragon X Elite for laptops. A key difference lies in the architecture. The A18 Pro uses ARM v9.2a with scalable matrix extension SME, boosting AI processing. In contrast, Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is still based on the older ARM v8 architecture, which doesn't support these advanced AI features, giving Apple an advantage in AI tasks. In Geekbench tests, the A18 Pro scored 3,409 for single-core and 8,492 for multi-core performance. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, seen on the OnePlus 13, scored slightly lower in single-core, but outperformed in multi-core. While Qualcomm's 4.32 GHz clock speed helps, Apple's A18 Pro leads by about 5% in single-core performance. However, Qualcomm pulls ahead in multi-core performance by 18%, largely due to the additional cores. Apple is likely ahead in power efficiency, delivering strong performance at a lower clock speed and power consumption. On the GPU front, Apple's A18 Pro sees minimal changes, with an increase in clock speed but the same architecture. Qualcomm's Adreno 830 GPU in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is expected to outperform Apple's GPU, continuing last year's trend where the Adreno 750 outpaced Apple's A17 Pro. For connectivity, Apple uses Qualcomm's Snapdragon X75 5G modem, while the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will feature the newer X80 modem, promising better efficiency. In summary, Apple's A18 Pro leads in single-core performance and power efficiency, while Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 takes the edge in multi-core tasks and likely GPU performance, making it a competitive matchup. So, what do you guys think about both the chipsets? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.